going on geek them this is your monk doing another reaction today it's Friday by friday so we're checking out a horror short film uh this is fun station it's going to be pretty lengthy this is uploaded by um lorid films yeah lorid films channel check them out in the descriptions below uh, this will be my first time reacting to anything from their channel, so if this is really good, then I'm definitely check out more stuff from them. Um, I have been doing that for a couple of different uh, channels and stuff. Uh, there's a lot of great, great content creators when it comes to horror short films on YouTube. And yeah, I, I tend to enjoy them all. I keep going back to a whole bunch of them because, yeah, like Buried Hatchet, I think they're a good channel to check out horror short films and stuff from. Um, shout outs to them. For some reason on this video, but let's go ahead and <laughs> check this out. Uh, Fun station, see what's going on with it. Well, this really good. The fact that you can get the location and stuff, like some of the locations I've seen people get to do shoots at, I'm like, man. The time is now 11.45. Fun station will close at 15 minutes. Okay, but so the Chinese finger traps are actually going to be 25 tickets and you only have 10 left. I can get you a Tootsie Roll though. Do I look like I'm on a Tootsie Roll, you fucking asshole? Dang, kid. <laughs> First off, they're just like Nacho you get on that, sir. Obviously. Well, some people just like chips. How am I supposed to know what the hell you want with your goddamn nachos? Mm -mm. I don't know if they hold on to that rule or not. Lots of cheese. Okay, sir. Just it's gonna be extra. I don't like how his thumb is inside. <laughs> Just a little more. <laughs> look, how, look how deep his so thumb was. Like Bro, he just wanted to cover cheese. More. His finger is all over Jesus his... Christ, sir, it, it's enough. <laughs> Get a get a napkin, nigga. Excuse me, these dads are filthy. She doesn't care. That sounds like a personal problem. All right, she does not care. <laughs> May I help y'all? Bro. Attention all guests. Fun station is now closed. Please exit at the front door of the Um, we're closed. Everybody get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> if only, bro. If only. That's how I feel like saying how a bunch of places, retail places I've worked at. I'm like, it's closing time. If y'all don't get the hey, fuck out of here. Here you go. I need you to fill up the go karts, and I am out for the evening. Cool. I'll see you tomorrow morning, Ricky. Oh, do not lose them. Oh, I'll make sure you never see them again. <laughs> I feel like she's telling the truth. Hey, girl. Hey, Arnold. You closing with me tonight? Ugh, you know, I'm so tired. It's been a long day, let me tell you. The nacho cheese goblins, full fucking force. <laughs> and don't hate me, but I can't help you close tonight. I have places to be. You know how it is. No, I don't. Wow, places to be, huh? Oh, whatever am I going to do without Arnold to help me close? I just don't think I can do it. 
whatever. I'm sure you'll survive. Here are the kitty train keys. Bye, bitch. Dang, she just have everything on there. And she's gonna lose Bye, that whole... Those, all those sets of keys. Bye, queen. You're the best. <laughs> Taking grade six, welcome to the fun station speedway. Please listen to the following rules. You are driving at your own risk. There is no bumping other racers during the I swear, if this dit's talking to me again, I'm just so sick of the people who work here and I'm so sick of this place. I had a guy ask me for nachos today and he would not let me stop pulling this goddamn cheese. I mean, it's not even real cheese. What the, like, why? It's, it's not real cheese. You're driving at your own risk. There is no bumping other racers during or after the race. Well, some places just call it cheese sauce. Uh, they don't even call it like nacho cheese, they just call it cheese sauce. <laughs> You scared the shit out of me. I just wanted to say bye before I left, okay? <laughs> Sorry. I like closing shift with Ashley. I'm jealous to think of, like, you know, all the TikToks and intellectual conversations you guys are going to be having. Oh, shut up, mm -mm. asshole. I swear Ricky purposefully puts me with her for every closing shift, and I'd just be delighted to know why. I mean, it's probably because he likes to schedule people with similar IQs. Oh, right. Um, the girl going to Stanford, closing with the girl going to the highly prestigious University of Phoenix. They're practically the same caliber, right? Mm. Anyways, did you see that Sarah was here tonight? Wait, really? Yes, how did you not see her? She was literally staring at the fuck down from the concession seating. Okay, yeah, was Sarah was little as well as I swear. Yeah, I mean, she's probably still pissed. <laughs> you know? Pissed about what? It's not my fault. I don't understand why she's had some personal vendetta against me ever since the results came out. I mean, there were multiple other people in our class who also didn't get admitted. Mm. Do I do I look like the head of admissions to you? Nope. I mean, she's a legacy, right? I'm sure her parents weren't happy about the fact that she didn't get in and you did, you know? <laughs> oh, I'm sure they wanted to kill me. Oh, yeah. Anyways, I mean, you should just be proud of I yourself. I bet. Like, who fucking cares about Sarah, right? In a week, her and high school are going to be a distant memory. I guess you're right. Hey, I know I should know this, but when did you say you leave again? Oh, um, Saturday. How about you? Next week. Damn. At least we're only stuck at the shithole for a few more days. <laughs> right, yeah, no, I know. I was just thinking the same exact thing. <laughs> you know, um, <clears throat> although, I mean, I, I feel like I might actually miss it slightly. Really? I'm not going to miss anything about Fun Station. I literally hate this place. There's a lot of places, like, well, you work in... I mean, other rules, policies, makes you hate the places and stuff. But if you actually go, it could be pretty fun. There's but working there. One thing I miss. Anyways, yeah, I just have to clean up the tokens from the coin pusher, and I can go. Um. Uh, asshole. <laughs> uh, yeah. Here. Oh, thank you. You didn't have to make that like that awkward, just because she was about to, you know, you could have been like, "Say I'm gonna miss you too, uh, as friends, Savannah. stuff like that." Good so Like I'm you can make stuff easier on the person. Jordan, and he told me that Tommy is having this like party tonight, and I was thinking that maybe after work we could like, maybe you could like meet me there, you know, put a little something on. Okay. Um, you know, you just can't go out looking like that, right? 
Look like what? Like I work for a fun station? Like you look like yeah, right now? I think I'm good actually. Not really my scene anyway. I think I'm just gonna finish cleaning and go home. Okay, suit yourself I guess. All those freaking boxes, bro. Mm, that's so good. You need more people to be cleaning off all these daggone machines. I'm sorry. Unless I work exactly overnight. <laughs> I've been working through the openings of, uh, through while this place is open. Not while this place is closed. But she's not cleaning the whole, entire glass anyway, so. Hey, we're closed. Hey, I said we're closed, asshole. The fact that you Ashley. have the door open. Ashley, did you say something? I had my headphones in. What is Ashley doing while we while we're closing? Because that that would piss me off the most. Like she ain't doing nothing with being on her phone. Like we're well, how are you contribute to us leaving when we need to leave? Mm mm. <laughs> this acting, bro. <laughs> Like you keep running, you keep moving until you know you're in a safe place. You're not even in a safe place. Keep running. Get up out the building. Find an exit. <laughs> ah! And then you're screaming. So he knows where you at in the local Osh. And you tripped and fell. <laughs> Every trope you can do in the horror movie. Get him on the ground. Keep running. Arnold, get up. We have to go now. Arnold, get up. You Come on. If he's on the ground, you know he even got got. Especially when he's supposed to have left a long time ago. All this stopping messed you up. And he's home. Now he's just snuck up on him. I thought he was gonna be holding the keys when she turned around.
Interesting. So he's wanting to kidnap her for whatever reason. Is it their boss? for this very special occasion? You see, it's a mess. It is a What? It is a What? what? <laughs> For what? Don't act like you don't get it. A devil? A red evil devil? Yeah. Red for Stanford's colors, of course. And the devil to represent the evil satanic wings that you are for taking my daughter's goddamn spot? You're dumb. <laughs> now you're getting it. Oh, no fucking way. You're Sarah's dad? <laughs> you think this funny? Taking someone's rightfully on spot? It's a so tradition. You, you murder <laughs> other other people because somebody else took your daughter's spot. My family's <laughs> You didn't murder the people that the other person about? that took the spot. Don't I like you know. Quote unquote. Quote, quote unquote. girl from the white trash trailer park family who somehow managed to get in at Stanford? Because it's all political now, isn't it? You gotta make room for those first generations. Those poor families who didn't have anyone smart enough to get into real college. Let's, let's make it out of high school. Oh, fuck you! Did you just spit at me? Nah. You just felt something wet on your neck. You're never gonna get away with this. <sighs> oh, but I will. He's gonna frame you. And when you're dead, my daughter, she's gonna take your spot and she'll get off the wait list. What? And that's the reason you're gonna die. You should have known better than to take my daughter's spot. What do you mean off the wait list? You can't save yourself now, little lady. Because once you're dead- How can you shut up for two seconds? What do you mean, off the wait list? You realize there's literally no correlation by high school between the admitted students and the ones on the wait list, right? I think I'm losing my mind. <laughs> How much do I need to dumb it down for you? How much do I need to dumb it down? There isn't an individual waitlist for every high school. There's one list with all the waitlists and applicants, you Michael Myers ripoff fucking psychopath! Shut the fuck up! Psychopath! Too deep in this now. They're mind tricks. They're not gonna work on me, girl. You can't even last words. Just do it then. Yeah, you and your daughter are idiots. You already killed everybody else. You already killed everybody Arnold. else. Ashley? Ashley? And I don't even get to think about where you off, Connor. I didn't think about where you off, Connor. Who? Hey, asshole! Hey, asshole! <gasps> hey. 
for getting these. So, somehow, he saved me. He got into the storage room without you realizing that he opened up the door. Yeah, let's get this one out. I mean, he's absolutely insane for that. Like, how could he actually think that? Why, why is it the police being called? <laughs> we're always sitting here drinking you know, fucking Slurpees. You know, I <laughs> or Icy's, whatever the fuck you want to call the shit. Icy's, whatever. Why are we just drinking shit? Police needs to be called. So do you think All he did was hit the dude with a bat. Like, that's supposed to have killed him. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we this working on? And you're horrible. So should I like call the cops? So should I like call the cops? Did you call the cops before you came into the storage room? You came into the storage room? No, I... Is that not what we're waiting on? Is that not what we're waiting on? Oh, give me that. Oh, we came back and just off all of them. Pacey Hansen, written and directed by. So, yeah. I thought this was actually pretty good, though. <laughs> I liked it a lot. Uh, fun station. Uh, it's like the quirky type of, like, slasher. Um, so, it's supposed to be, like, fun horror. Kind of with your comedy and stuff like that, whatever. It was a bad. I like the location. I like how they... Uh, were able to produce this. Uh, I don't think the acting was bad. I think the acting was actually purposeful for what they're trying to do with the style of uh, the horror film that they're doing. So I thought it was great for that because again, it's like comedy, fun, you know, type of slasher. Um, so yeah, I think I think it's like excellently, excellently done. I'm gonna say like the 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 main parts that I did like were like how they were able to actually get this set up as far as where they did it, shot it, and how they had the, the characters just as far as just the quirky way that they're doing it, um, as far as the style and stuff. Um, so yeah, I was like, it wasn't bad for me. It's definitely, uh, this definitely may go on my top 10 uh, for horror short films for this year. It definitely may be up there. It definitely may be up there. Because I was like, this is this is pretty, pretty nice. Uh, <laughs> Frustrating for some moments, but it's done on purpose, I believe. Um, but yeah, very, very nice, very excellently done. Um, scare ratings, though, I'm gonna have to give it. Like, it, it sucks when it comes to comedic horror films, because I don't think about the parts of it being scary, <laughs> because it's in the realm of comedy. Um, so it's hard for me to think about the scares with it, but I'm going to have to go with average. I'm going to have to go with average and give it a five. Probably five and a half. I'll give it a five and a half as far as just the scares on my scare ratings. But let me know as far as scare ratings what you'll give it. Maybe you felt it a little bit more scary than I did or maybe you forgot about the scares that happened. But the scares that I can only generate this off of is just... The points of the uh, two people getting slashed up. So, yeah. Um, the chase scene, maybe, you know, that. But it, it wasn't anything like crazy build up for it to get you into that the mood of like being scared. Um, that's the only thing is like, that's why I'm happy to give it an average when it comes to the scare. But yeah, it still was excellently done. I thought I enjoyed it, I thought it was fun. Um, it's called Fun Station, so of course the the movie should be pretty fun. So it's definitely a horror film that I would like to have worked on myself. So um, that's why I was like, I, I like it in that aspect. Um, and I've worked on horror uh, horror shorts before, um, so yeah. And I've had fun. Like the last horror short film that I've helped on, it was hella fun. I enjoyed it, but it wasn't as crazy fun as this, but it still was enjoyable. Um, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Let me know what y'all think about this in the comments below. If you like this video, please put a like on the video. If you like to subscribe, see some more of my videos, please do. Thank you all so much for jumping on and giving me a try. I really do appreciate it. Please do take care of yourselves and each other. Peace, geek through.